happy Monday, everybody. I hope you guys are having a really great August. The new school has just started and some of us are still working from home, so things might feel a little bit hectic, which is why I wanted to give you guys some chair exercises to do while you're sitting at your desk or your modified desk, um, and even for your kids while they're working um, virtually in their classrooms. So first one we're gonna start with is an activation exercise. We often think that our hip flexors are tight when really they're just weak because we don't really exercise them. We sit a lot in flexion, which makes the tissue shorten, but then it's weak on top of that, which makes it less pliable. Think about beef jerky versus a steak. That's kind of your comparison. So we're gonna take our beef jerky hip flexors and we're gonna turn them into nice plump juicy steaks. And if you're a vegetarian, um, I apologize for the reference point. So here we go. We're going to take the knee and sitting up nice and straight, we're gonna bring the leg up to the chest. At this point, the goal is to hold this here as we let our hands go, okay? If you bounce out of it here, that's the risk in which you don't have control over your passive range of motion. So passively, I can get my knee all the way to my chest. Actively, I can only hold it here, right? So we have a great range there where we don't have any control. So let's gain control again. I'm gonna bring the knee up to the chest. I'm sitting up nice and tall. So we wanna avoid this position here. I'm gonna bring the knee up to the chest. I'm gonna let go and I'm gonna hold it for 20 seconds. So let go, hold it. I'm sitting up really tall, trying to lift myself up. I keep trying to pull my knee towards my shoulder. I'm holding it, I'm holding it. Test yourself, give yourself a little feedback. Pull tighter to the chest. Good, when you're done with 20 seconds, you're gonna put it down, we're gonna switch sides. So we pull it passively to the chest, sitting up nice and tall, make sure we're not rocked back into our chair back. Then I'm gonna let it go and see if I can hold it. All the while I'm continuing to lift, so my upper back feels a little tight. I'm gonna continue to lift this as tight as I can to the chest, 20 seconds. Then we're gonna come down. Now we're gonna make this a little bit harder. So we're gonna to pull to the chest and hold, and then we're gonna to try to bring it to the outside and bring it back. So now we're taking active range of motion and adding some dynamic to it. So passively, we stretch into this position. Actively, I'm gonna let go, <clears throat> sitting up nice and tall. Dynamically, I'm gonna bring this out to the side, keeping it nice and high, I'm lifting my knee, and I'm gonna bring it forward and I put it down. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Passively, I'm gonna pull it here. Actively, I'm gonna let go. Sit up nice and tall. And then dynamically, I'm gonna bring it out to the side, lifting the knee as high as I can, bring it back and down. Whew, I'm sweating. So that's about three sets of that. You guys are gonna feel really, really good. After that, next week, I'm gonna show you a bunch of chair hip flexor stretches that you guys can do following that exercise to kind of alleviate the tension that you achieved during this hip flexion exercise. I hope you guys have a great Monday and please let me know if there's anything you guys really, really want to see or something you want to add to your day and we'll get it on camera. Have a great day.